Hey, what's up, everybody? Today's topic's on Seth Rollins. Is Seth Rollins ready to be WWE Champion? You know? I go over a lot of things with him. You know? Is he good as a heel in a phase? His in-ring work? His mic skills? Everything. But first thing I'll talk about Seth Rollins and how I guess he did shine the most in the shield. He's a better wrestler than Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Um, Dean Ambrose has better mic skills than Seth Rollins, but that's about it. Seth Rollins is better than Dean Ambrose than any, every other factor. Wrestler-wise, you know, you name it. Dean Ambrose just has the mic skills. Roman Reigns, he's a big guy, believable as champion, but he's nowhere near as good as a wrestler as Seth Rollins and has very poor mic skills. So Seth Rollins shines in the shield. He's the one who should be, you know, the champion, in my opinion. Um, his mic skills are very good. He's actually good on the mic. He, he can talk real well. I never hear him mess up any lines, anything. I never, I, I never find him to be boring or at all. Seth Rollins is actually a very interesting character. He's proven that in the WWE. In NXT and in, in Florida Championship Wrestling, I don't know. But Seth Rollins, he's very good on the mic. And, um, you know, whatnot. Uh, like his in-ring work, like I said, it's very good. You know, his curb stop, his um, high-flying moves, you name it. He can put on a pretty good match. He can make John Cena's matches look pretty good. <laughs> it, well, it was a tables match. Seth Rollins is a very good wrestler. Better than Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Um... This curb stop could take out anybody, really. Realistically, it could, yeah. Um, he, um, can, he, can he be a good phase? Yes, he can be a good phase. In the shield, he proved it being the architecture, you know? He was one of the guys who people looked at. At first, they looked at Dean Ambrose like he was the man of the shield. But then later on, they looked at Seth Rollins like, you know, he's a future world champion. He has all the tools. Dean Ambrose has better mic skills. Roman Reigns is just bigger. But Roman Reigns isn't a better wrestler, and neither is Dean Ambrose. And Seth Rollins is pretty good on the mic. And he can be, you know, what he wants to be. Um, Seth Rollins is a very good heel. You know, he could, he's proven that. He could, be, he could be the leader of the authority, you know. I even remember having Seth Rollins versus Triple H, which I think would be a good match. I don't know who would be the heel or phase there. Maybe make Triple H the heel. I don't know. Um, Seth Rollins can be a good heel and a good phase. But, but think about it. Good mic skills, good wrestler, can be a good healer phase, you know, can put on good matches, very interesting character. I mean, think about that. He even threatened to break Edge's neck if, if, John, if John, Cena, John Cena didn't bring back the authority, you know. That's how bad he was, you know. As far as Seth Rollins goes, I think he's ready for the WWE Championship. I think he'd be a great champion, even though he's small, you know. Daniel Bryan's small. I don't, I don't know if Seth Rollins is better than Daniel Bryan. They could feud Seth Rollins with Daniel Bryan. They could feud Seth Rollins with John Cena. They could feud Seth Rollins with Roman Reigns. You know? They could do a lot with Seth Rollins. There's a lot of new stars. I mean, he had a very good match at the Royal Rumble, but it was John Cena, Brock Lesnar, and Seth Rollins in a triple threat match. Um, went for the curve stop, got it fived, but the match was great. Even adding Seth Rollins to the match. John Cena versus Brock Lesnar would have been boring, so what does that tell you? You know? But yeah, I think Seth Rollins is ready for the WWE Championship, in my opinion. He has all the tools. And that's all I want to say. Thank you for watching. Give me your thoughts. Subscribe if you want to. Have a nice day. And bye.